It's this movie. There, done. Uh, I guess you want an actual review of this movie. All right, if any of you have seen the movie The Phoenix Incident, it was on Netflix, at least Canadian Netflix, about two or so years ago. This is this movie. These two are the same. The only difference is, there's three differences. This one has swearing. This one has weird demon dog things, like from Doom, as the aliens. And this takes place on the day of with height with adult hikers. Those are the only differences in terms of actual plot. The one thing I will give the Phoenix Forgotten movie is that it is put together pretty well in terms of what it is at first. The first part of the movie is basically this sister of her of this brother who disappeared after the Phoenix Lights incident and she is putting this documentary together just basically trying to pick up where the investigation died 20 years ago and seeing if she can find something more about her brother. All the while it keeps coming back to footage that her brother filmed with his friends and just trying to investigate everything about the Phoenix Lights incident. Now the Phoenix Lights incident is an incredibly interesting aspect of UFO conspiracy technology. It's something that's always drawn people. I've always been interested in it and I was a sucker for for two reasons for this movie. One, it's about that incident, and two, it's a found footage movie. Even though I know found footage movies are usually awful, I will watch them. I don't know why, <laughs> but I do, even though most of them are terrible. When I was going into this one, that was my mentality. It's the Phoenix incident. It's the Phoenix incident. There's two differences I will say. The Phoenix incident is bad. It's really bad. It's kind of cool the idea that it's actually a bunch of video game directors as well as vo voice actors they, they got Troy Baker in it but it's not good it's cheesy it has a cool premise in terms of how it's put together if anything I will say this one is put together better in terms of a narrative function like how it's edited together is better than this one because the Phoenix Forgotten film is literally two movies. The first half of it is the sister just picking up with all these pieces with entry cut edits with her brother's footage. And then at the end is this lost tape sort of thing. So it's basically two movies. Phoenix Incident is one movie. Now while I keep on going on saying they are the same movie, I will say that The Phoenix Forgotten is a better version of The Phoenix Incident. Because this one was just better acted, it had a more solidly written script. There was no jump scares. That's something that I'll be pretty, that's something I'm pretty proud of this movie for, is that it doesn't have a jump scare. Why Ridley Scott is attached to it is kind of confusing me. I think it's he's just on an aliens trip right now and anything that's sci-fi is like, I've gotta touch it. So I don't understand why he was a part of it. I don't really see a, a, any sort of influence on it. I'll give them this. Even They really kept to making that footage from 1998 because it looks like shit <laughs> throughout the whole time. It is just uh, it's letterboxed and it's garbage. So I'll give them that, but they stuck to their timeline. Phoenix Incident tried to do that and didn't do that nowhere near as well. So while it is a carbon copy of a movie that came out just a few years prior, I will say that The Phoenix Forgotten is a commendable film for what it is, but it is entirely forgettable, much like the Phoenix Incident is. So in the end, I'm gonna give Phoenix Forgotten a 3 out of 7. It's decently put together, the acting is decent, the story is very sparse, but at least it's coherent. But in the end, I don't know, I was the only person in the theater watching this movie, and I can understand why. Anyways guys, that's all for me, see you guys next time.